Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Faith on Friday. Now, how many of us remember being a kid in class and found ourselves wandering off in our mind, looking out the window, thinking of playing, seeing ourselves in the sun running through an open field, only to be jarred awake by a loud noise or someone calling your name? And now we've gotten older and we're still kind of doing it. You go to coaches and counselors and even business gurus and they say the same thing. Close your eyes. Envision yourself with the business that you want. In your happy place, what does your relationship look like? In your dream world, what kind of finances do you have? Only to be jarred awake again by the reality of your life. You see, it's not so much that life is hard or filled with distractions. Those things are kind of necessary. The problem is we've forgotten how to dream. We haven't taken the time anymore to close our eyes, lean our head back, and envision ourselves in our happy place. That happy place reminds you of where you're going. It reminds you of what it is you're working towards so that when you're awake in your day and grinding as hard as you can towards that goal, it's actually because you've seen it in your mind. Don't let the day's distractions, the life distractions, the work distractions, your money woes, don't let that get in the way of something as simple as a daydream. Statistics have shown that daydreaming helps people become healthier and it helps keep you focused, believe it or not. So the next time you see yourself just super busy and can't seem to find your way, the best thing you can probably do is close your eyes and dream. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you so much for sharing the video. My name is Ricky Smith and I'll see you next Friday.